Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I've been a collector all my life. When it comes to collecting, I live my life by the three C's. Is it cool? Is it collectible? And is it cheap? So come join me as I look to add more to my collection. Welcome to the hunt. Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome back to the hunt. I'm XLJ the OG along with here Mr. B-Roll and we are here in Chicago. Chicago. And we are on the hunt for some cool stuff and I'm going to take Mr. B-Roll here to a really cool place. Wax Packs. I think I said that right. Records and Toy Store. Now, originally, I'm going to be honest, originally we were going to go check out Quake Collectibles in Chicago. However, not realizing that they closed super early, like at 4 o'clock on a Saturday, so we didn't make it there in time. But this place is actually affiliated with Quake Collectibles, which we've heard a lot about. Um, I have only been here once. Uh, but it is a pretty cool place, and I think you're going to dig it. Uh, and this is going to be a unique hunt in a sense because not only do they have toys and all sorts of fun stuff, but they got records too. So that's cool. And you're going to find in here, it is not organized at all. It's just stuff is everywhere. But that's what makes hunts like this so It's special. a true hunt. <laughs> it is a true hunt. So are you ready to go on in and check it out, sir? Let's go. Let's go. All right, and we're going to head on into Wax Packs, Records, and Toys and see what we can find. And immediately we're greeted by a pitch podge of everything. And yes, I see you, Roman. We acknowledge you. Wait, that guy's name was Squat? I don't remember that. Oh, that's a pretty cool Sonic stand. And of course, Castle Grayskull. And it looks like the Universal title has made its way to the $5 bin, but check out this Invisible Woman. And that's a pretty cool OG Star Trek Enterprise set. And look at all of these Transformers in case. And here's some loose wrestling figures, and check out the Spice Girls toys, because if you want to be my lover, sorry. And here's the Star Trek Enterprise, pretty cool. And I got some mad respect for these Heathcliff books, that is something you don't see every day. And yet even more Transformers in the case, and check out this Gravedigger monster truck. And I believe this is an Ewoks playset, and funny story, this actually got pretty much reintroduced as a Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy set. And here we find the final, let's see what we can find here. All alphabetized of course, which I can respect. <laughs> And speaking of respect, check out this Batman Returns Frisbee from 1991. And it looks like Mr. B-Roll has spotted something. And speaking of spotting something with my eye, check out this Full House playset. As well as some more Star Trek vehicles. And we got some DVDs here for $2 a piece. I'm not really seeing anything, but oh, we got some more fine over here. Oh, here's some soundtracks. Let's check these out. Oh boy, cause we are the world, and we are the children. Hey b -roll, I think you need this in your life. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> and you can see what I mean here at Wax Packs. There is just a mix of everything, and there's no really rhyme or reason for where it's located. I mean, you can find anything from freaking X-Men toys, to My Little Ponies, to Barbie dolls, to... Micro Machines, Transformers, Star Wars, it just goes on and on. But that's kind of what I love about places like this. And yes, we found another Spice Girl. Check out that Batman Forever collection set. That's pretty rad. 
And we just got the dragon sword hanging out here in the corner. That's awesome. Oh, well, that's interesting. I did not know they made Son of Sorn action figures. That's pretty cool. I miss that series, by the way. And what's that? Mr. B-Roll has found something. Oh, it's true. It's true. Wow, is that a Stacey Hogman starting lineup figure? I'll be damned. And here's some pretty cool Daredevil stuff. And yet another Castle Grayskull with Snake Mountain. And wow, I didn't even know this existed. This Island Earth action figure? Love that 1955 sci-fi movie, man. It's like the alien guy. That's cool. And Apollo 13 movie toys? I had no idea they made that. Ooh, look at that. Micro Machines Death Star. That is dope. And get in the rock. That's not what I spy, though. I love me some Mickey, but check it out. Look, a rare Ring of Honor Mark Briscoe action figure. I think Mr. B-Roll's gonna want this bad boy because he loves his tag teams. Loves some Briscoe brothers. That was my childhood right there, folks. I love that toy. And speaking of which, I remember when they took the Ninja Turtles and gave them odds and ends like jobs and made them do sports and stuff. Those were the days. But look at all the rest of these toys. Oh, check out that Stone Cold WrestleMania 15 figure. And check out these Power Rangers diecast figures. I totally remember getting the Green Ranger on Easter morning one year in one of my Easter baskets. True story. I always loved those Legends of Batman toys, and that is a pretty badass Riddler if I do say so. And we got another variant version of Mickey from Rocky. Check out that Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. And here we have kind of an older Mickey Mouse Kids toy. And check out the Star Wars Shadow of the Empire vehicle. That was a great line, by the way. I love me some Shadow of the Empire. Ooh, look at that Marvel Legends Wolverine set. And here we see just a ton of Star Wars loose action figures just hanging out. Wow, and that's a nice on-card Catwoman from Batman Returns. Ooh, and here's some Micro Machines. Hmm, this guy looks familiar, but I just can't put a finger on it. And here's a close shot of that Stone Cold. Damn, boy, you got some thick thighs. Yo, Joe, here's some G.I. Joe figures in K. And, of course, a John Wick figure, I guess. Okay. And here's just a mix of everything from G.I. Joe to DC. It looks like even Star Wars is in that case. And here's just a mixture of stuff. I even see some Masters of the Universe stuff down there. But that's what I love about this place. It is a pitch podge of everything. Ooh, VR Trooper cards, Snow White cards, Power Rangers cards, wacky cards. Okay. This place is freaking awesome, man. I just love how there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, you could get lost in this store. I mean, look, there's an Alien z Fact Fighter, G.I. Joe toy up top. It just goes on. Love me some wax packs, man. Just treasure troves everywhere. And I love that there's no rhyme or reason for where everything's at. It's just there, man. Love it. Check out this Lando Calrissian Empire Strikes Back Burger King glass. And just some random buttons. Like I say, man, I love me some wax packs because it is truly like hunting for treasure. I mean, it's everywhere, dude. That's going to wrap up our trip here at Wax Packs. Let's see what well, we got. That was Wax Packs Records. A funny story, which we'll get into here in a minute, about some miscommunication between me and Mr. B-Roll. <laughs> I was trying to save his butt, but save him some money. Sue, his wife watching out there. No, you, you did good. We did good. Uh, so as you saw, it's a little crowded, obviously. I kind of a hot mess. Owner is super cool. So come to find out from talking to the owner. Uh, apparently, his buddy is the one that owns Quake Collectibles in Chicago. And I guess, um, I think he even said before the pandemic, he ended up, they just said, yeah, what? Well, screw it. I'm going to cut my hours and stuff. And he's kept them the same. So he's got short, she's like, and he said, I guess he's been making the most money he's ever made. So shorter hours and making more money. You can't go wrong with that. So. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, but I mean, he's right in the city, so I'm sure he's paying a fortune as far as rental, but at the same time, too, getting a ton of people coming in. Because like he's saying, there's millions of people in Chicago. So yeah, you can see it was a little bit of a hot mess in there, but there was some cool stuff. Uh, and he was, I thought he was very negotiable on prices. Yes. Because so, we made some deals. And you know here on The Hunt, we love making those deals. Yeah. That's um, what suckered me in. So... That being said, let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going to go first, if that's okay with you. Okay. Because I honestly think you got the coolest item of the day. Although, I got some really cool shit. I was the big spender today. Uh, yeah, you were. First off, continuing with my Hasbro collection of wrestling figures. They are going to go right in the cold cast studio. Simply Ravishing Rick Rude. And I always loved Rick Rude's action. Because, look, he's got you in a headlock. Like, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna beat your butt, I'm gonna beat your butt. Ugh. Speaking of butts, look at that ass. Show you what a real sexy man. Okay, I'm playing, I'm gonna stop playing with my Rick Rude, but 10 bucks. So it's 15, he came down to 10, so. The coolest thing for me that I got today, and I think we both got Wow Factor. Now it's not necessarily that I collect this, but this is like stuff you just don't see a whole lot, especially yeah. in box. Yeah. Do, 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 do. An ET action figure from LJN 1982. Now the packaging on this is in good shape for being that old. Like you can stop pointing. Look at the back of the box. I'm going to show it, but it's I, no, really I, weird. No. You're oh, missing. Oh my gosh. Are you trying to point that out? No. What, the what are they doing on the back of the box? They're touching fingers. You want me to touch your finger? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all that for that. Are Our mis we are just miscommuting all yeah. over the place today. Yeah, it's okay. It's been a long, long trip. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, the box on this is pretty good. There's not a whole lot of action to E.T., but then again, it's freaking E.T. we're talking about. It's freaking E.T. Slide button on back of E.T. to make his head bob. Articulated arms can be moved into different positions. And keep in mind, this is 1982, so that's very futuristic. Um, 25 bucks on this guy, which I thought was fair. Uh, considering the that it's still in the packaging, it's freaking E.T. from 1982. Now, I got one more thing, but we're going to save it for the end. Yes. So, Mr. B-Roll. And, by the way, I spotted this for you. Yes. So, first and foremost, let's see what you got. So, I don't know if I should be mad at you or if I should be happy with you. I think oh, I'm, I think you should be happy because of the miscommunication there. I think I'm mostly happy. Dim Boys. Dim Boys. So a lot of people don't realize that Ring of Honor actually did make some action figures. Now, I believe the company was like Midwest Toys or something like that. Figures, figures Toy, Toy company. company. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think it's what, 2016 or 15 or something? 2016. Like 2016, yeah. Man knows his stuff. But yeah, looks like what else was in the line was uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Steen, Steen, Jay Briscoe. Of course, and Jay Lethal. And Jay Lethal. Yeah. And it came with a ring, too. And there's a lot of other Ring of Honor figures, too. But you've got one of them boys. Damn, boys. Damn, boys. Now, let's talk about the miscommunication. The miscommunication. So, the, what do you have on this? 35? 30. 30. He had 30 on it. And, like, Brent showed me a picture on his phone. And I was, I thought it said, like, it was 25 on the phone. Or 20. No, it was thirty nine ninety nine. It was more, so I thought he was hinting at it cost more or more or less somewhere else. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. So I was just like, oh, I just tried to play it off like, oh, we'll make it in time or something. And he was looking at me like, what the heck are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. I was trying to play it off like, you know, that I'm not looking at the price online for this. Yes, there you go. Yeah. But it's okay because he haggled down with you. I think he came down, what, five bucks, essentially? Five bucks on the whole order, basically. So, yeah. Well, let's just say five bucks on this okay. guy, really, if you think about it. So, you got it for 25 and it was going for 40 online. That's a pretty damn good deal. Yeah. Now, I will say this. There is a little bit of... Just all that. But it's okay, though, because you're probably going to open this. I think you have to open it. You don't have to open it now in front of us. Yeah. Unless I mean, you want to. I mean, I open, if I open Mr. Brody Lee, I can open this one. Yeah. So. So. But... That's not all you got, is it? No. Now, this is probably the cool thing of the day. Cause this is cool, and it was cheaper. Yeah. This so is really maybe cheap. that makes it even cooler. Star Wars. There you go. Wonder World. Now, Wonder World was a thing where it was like you would put have like a background playset in there, and you put water in this thing yeah. and stuff. And and if you look at it. the back, it kind of gives you a better idea. Yeah. 
shows like the back and like all the stuff that you place in it and stuff. So these were kind of popular in the 90s for kids, even in the 80s too. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I just and I'm gonna say this is probably from 95, probably. Mm. Yep, 95. Man, you're good. It's what I do, baby. You are good. And actually, look up top here, too. It's still sealed. So. And yeah. dusty. It's dusty. So, yeah. I mean, that's how you know it's good. Oh, and it's Kenner, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Because Kenner did everything Star Wars back in the day, man. Yeah. Honestly, I saw this and was was drawn to it. And, and it was very high up, and he had to ask him to get it down. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think he told him a different price, but he's like, got closer. Oh, it's only 20. And, and and yeah, it's only 30. Oh yeah, twenty is a very good price on that. I think yeah. so. But as I said, I love it. That's not all we got. So we actually did, and we're going to have some fun with this. We got some trading cards. <laughs> now these I think are going to be fun because those are wacky something or other, and it's stickers. Oh, I believe I was holding yeah, it upside I was like, down. I think you got that upside down, buddy. It's part but, of the wackiness. But also, in addition with that. Ghostbusters 2 cards. So this is from 1989. What year is that? Yes. It's the 80s. It may have been early now. I'm going to say 1988. Close. 1990. Oh, it is 90. Okay. So. You ready? Yeah. You go first. I love that. That's a great feeling. And I thought it was cool about these. These are old school and they're stickers and you could probably put them on stuff. Yeah. What the heck? We got famished Amish cookies. Oh, I love this already. Just remember I was the one that paid for these. Yeah, they're yours. Look at the next one. You gotta I show it. I love it. Oh, it gets so better. Much better. I should have got these. Oh, that's cool. Stu so stupid moron too is what it said. Play off Super Mario 2. Yeah. Oh my god. Old. That's a. Old age mutant nasty tur turkeys. I almost want to go back in and buy some. I almost think you should. This is probably my favorite so far. You're welcome. I. I oh my god. Yes. Not Batman, it's Fat Batman. Man. That's just okay. American Distress. True words cannot be said at the current time frame, though. No. All right. Those, you're welcome. And those are all stickers, so you're going to find some fun stuff. Now we're going to open up the Ghostbusters. I think you should go trade your pack. <laughs> I should, but... I almost okay. want to go buy another one. Well, watch, we'd get another one or they'd be crap. Heads up! Business, which yeah. I, yeah, see you going. We love, we love that play on uh, Dana's Gamble. Nerdy stuff, right? Oh, I got a sticker, I think. Yeah, yeah I got a Slimer. I'll do something so. with that. I'll do something with that. We got Love Manhattan Style. The Ghost Jogger. Facing, Facing the, the Unknown. unknown. And the new Ghostbuster Slimer and the widescreen SF shot. So. Just makes me think of Ecto Cooler. Fuck it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's so terrible. Oh my gosh. 1989 gum. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the people next to you are looking at you like, what the crap? No, we are not filming that. I'm your huckleberry. That doesn't count as puking. I know it doesn't, but they're still like, what the crap? So here's the thing. Literally turned to powder in my mouth. Would you like to see? That's what gum from 1989 looks like, and I got some in my car. Shit. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you did that. I had no. Yeah. 
hey, I've had worse things, yeah. as you've all seen. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, man. Gotta get the taste. Okay. Take a moment to compose yourself. I'm pulling out pieces of hardened gum. Why did I do that? So in case you're ever wondering if you buy cards from the past, from like the 80s, don't chew the gum. It fucking sucks. Now, let me ask you this. I mean, obviously it was in like the card package, but like, um, was it just bare in the card package? Like, or did it have mm -hmm. like a gum sleeve? It's usually always bare. Hmm. A matter of fact, too, that is where it laid for like 20 plus years. Oh my gosh. Right there. So yeah, and I just put it in my mouth. You're welcome. The things I do for this channel. Oh my goodness. So that was, that was our haul from Wax Packs. Honestly, this may be my favorite hunt we've done so far. Because of the gun? No, you did good. You, you did good. Well, Everything was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, you did awesome, man. It's a good day. Good it's day. a great day great to be alive. alive. And on that note, we're going to head on out. So we hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Hunt. And as always, please, don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, for God's sakes, I just chewed 30-year-old gum pretty much. Please. Chasing the hug, right? Chasing the hug. Anywho, I'm XLJ, the OG, along with Mr. B-Roll. And we'll see you next time on an episode, a new episode of The Hunt.